Hello. I was gonna wear sunglasses for this review, but I figured I would look like an absolute tool or douchebag smoking these. Um, so today we are reviewing the Yerum, I don't know if the D is silent, but the Yerum, the Yerum Black Emerald cigars. These are cigars. I got these at my uh, the humidor shop, the cigar shop in Avon, and we're gonna try them out. So you call these cigarellos, but technically they're just really tiny cigars. They do have a filter on them, uh, which is nice, I suppose. Um, so they're, they're they're natural cigars. They're just small, so they, they're about they're the size of a cigarette, but they're natural. So they're cigars, not like you call them cigarellos, but they're cigars to me. They're all natural. There's no toxin, or there are toxins, you know, produced by smoke and whatever, but no 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 harmful additives, no cyanide or rat poisoning or formaldehyde. I don't think cyanides in cigarettes. Who knows? But um. So made with all natural tobacco, all natural ingredients. Uh, Yerum Black Emerald or Jerem, I don't know how you say that. Black Emerald 12 filtered cigars. Um, we're gonna try them out, we're gonna review them. So let's look at the pack. You see we got this uh, green box, and then we've got this rectangular uh, black wrap around it with the, you know, the, the, the logo, and we have all the, you know, we have the warning uh, down at the bottom. Cigar smoking can cause lung cancer and heart disease, blah, blah, blah. And you open it up and there you go, there are the filtered cigars. Of course, I ripped the foil off by mistake. Yeah, I don't smoke cigarettes, so I wouldn't, I didn't know what to do. I was like, do you fold it, do you rip it? But we're gonna take one out and we'll take a look at it. Close that back up. So it is black. Okay, and these are menthol. So menthol cigars, it's a little weird. You see, there we go. There's the, the black symbol and we got the filter. Remember that gold line, that's where the filter ends. And then you have the cigar the rest of the way up. There it is for you. Let's do a dry, so again, these are menthol, the mint. The, they're menthol cigars. Let's do a dry draw. Very nice, very sweet, very nice minty flavor. This cooling menthol flavor. I wouldn't say it's strong, but it's not weak either. It's kind of in between. I could do that all day. I love that taste. And the, um, I don't know if that's rice paper or seaweed or whatever, I think it might be rice paper. Um, so it's sweet. Yep, the filter or the cap is sweet. And again, it does have a filter. Then you have the tobacco. All right, we'll slide her up. So right off the bat, first thing that hits is a very mild um, tobacco flavor. It's a bit different than any other cigar. Um, so it's not, the, with the menthol, with that cooling taste and that feel, the flavor of that mint, makes the tobacco taste, I don't know how to describe it. It tastes very dark. Not in the sense that it's strong, it's just a very dark, tasting tobacco. And that might be because, you know, there's a filter, so it's the flavors change a little. There's the menthol throughout the, the, the tobacco or throughout the cigar. So, so let's let's get a really, really get a taste profile here. I didn't mean to retro hell all that. But it's mild enough to where you can. So nice sweet paper, nice nice flavor coming off this, and a nice, um, very soft tobacco flavor. It's not very harsh at all. It's very, very mild. It's nice. The menthol combined with that uh, tobacco flavor is nice. Very roasted, very dark. Again, not like a heavy, like not like it's a, um, a strong cigar, but in terms of flavor, it's, it's nice. It's like a dark, very dark, black tasting tobacco, like it's been aged or something. So it's a very, very soft tobacco flavor, very woody, earthy. I'd say it's more woody than anything. Um,
this is very mild in the menthol. Um, the further that it burns back, um, the more ash you develop, the closer it gets to your mouth, the menthol kind of gets lost. It's the strongest at the beginning. Now let's do a retro hail and I'll describe that to you. Retro hail is nice. It's very, very nice. So it cools your nose. It, you, you feel the mint run through your nose. Very nice cooling sensation. We'll do that again. So as you retro hail, you can taste the woodiness and you can feel the mint. You can't taste it in your nose, but you can taste the wood, the woodiness, and you can feel it. Uh, the, the very strong menthol. I wouldn't say it's super strong, but the nice cooling, medium strength menthol just run through your nose. So, very, very nice. It's, uh, it's, again, it's nice. If you like the feeling, if you think it's cool to smoke cigarettes, but you want to do it in a more healthy way and smoke cigars and not bring it into your lungs, which by the way, I'm not doing. This is, only, this is going straight to my mouth, not into my lungs, because it, Number one, it's a cigar. Number two, I wouldn't do that. I bought American Spirits, you know, all natural um, cigarettes, and even then, I just brought it to my mouth. I will never inhale, ever. Pulling through some nuttiness as we get to the final third of this thing, getting like a like a roasted peanut or a peanut flavor. And as you can see, with that filter, you can see the tar kind of getting caught in the filter, which, it, which is nice, it's a bit cleaner. Not only is it a cigar, but it also has a filter, so it's a little bit more healthy. And yes, cigars are healthier than cigarettes. You do not bring them into your lungs. Cigars are all natural. Cigarettes aren't, unless you buy American Spirits. Retrohaling is always nice, especially with these. You get that nice menthol running through your nose. Um, kind of plugs your nose up for a second. You kind of have to breathe in through your nose a few times to get your nose to not, I wouldn't say it's stuffed, it just feels a little bit harder to breathe through your nose once you retrohale, especially with that menthol. That's nice. It's, it's really, really nice. It's very mellow. Just a nice experience. Starting to get to that point where it uh, starts to burn the lips a little because it's getting so close to the filter. It's getting so close to my mouth. Definitely one of my favorite cigarellos. Or Cigarette sized cigar or cigars, yeah, cigarette sized cigars, very nice. It's mellow the whole time. Of course, I'm overheating it a bit, but you know, even um, even overheating it, it's still very mild because, of course, you have a filter too. So, with mellow cigars, the more you you can overheat mellow cigars a bit more than strong robusto cigars or stronger cigars. Especially because it has a filter as well, you really, you really, it's you have to really puff, puff, puff non-stop for it to become sour and nasty. That's nice. I really enjoy it. Finish this off here, one last puff. We'll do a little retro hail. Still get the menthol, full strength menthol, still, even after it's basically gone away in terms of taste. So, there we have it the Yerum Black Emerald, or however you say it, the Black Emerald cigars, the menthol cigars. I'm going to light up another one. Of course I'm going to end the video, but that is so good I want another one. Very nice, very mellow, and that menthol is, especially the with the filter being sweet at the beginning, it, it's very nice. It really is. Mmm, so good at the beginning. 
I hope you like this review. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one.